please introduce yourself. I'm uh, David Perron, I'm the product manager for the ROV of uh, MMCM. David, what are the main advantages of this ROV? Uh, this ROV is, uh, uh, can carry three uh, munitions for mine neutralization and it's not an uh, expandable uh, ROV which means that uh, it can uh, be uh, recovered before the mine uh, is neutralized and this uh, allow us to have uh, uh, great sensors for ROV uh, stability and uh, good uh, navigation performance. Can you please tell us more about the type of sensors you have on board? Uh, we have uh, GPS, we have uh, forward-looking sensor, uh, we have uh, a navigation unit, we have a DVL for uh, uh, speed assessment towards the bottom, um, and the ROV is al also equipped with uh, uh, several cameras for mine identification. And for the disposable, the, the neutralization of the mine itself, what do you t typically use? This part is called a mine neutralization system. It's composed of a shape charge, uh, which will be placed uh, in front of the mine, thanks to a nail gun. Um, then a float will come back to the surface and allow the operator to fire the uh, explosive inside the munition and neutralize the mine. And what do we have here? Here we have uh, the, the nail gun. This system, when it is in contact with the mine, the nail will go uh, away from this part and will uh, uh, insert into the mine uh, casing. And this will allow to, uh, to attach the MNS on the mine. What are some of the other uh, benefits of this uh, solution? So you mentioned that basically in one mission you can neutralize three mines. Can you uh, neutralize all three mines at the same time and defer their neutralization? Yes, uh, we can uh, have a uh, simultaneous uh, firing of several mun munitions at the same time. And if uh, more than three munitions are requested, it's possible to reload some of them at sea. We have te tested it up to sea stage two with a dinghy. And then the ROV can go uh, back on the, on the mine uh, and deploy uh, up to uh, three uh, MNS at each dive. For which type of uh, missions is this uh, typically interesting? Uh, this is, uh, can be used for uh, um, amphibious operation, for uh, arbor survey, uh, and uh, the ROV can also be used for detection and classification in confined waters where the UUVs or the towed uh, sonar cannot go because it is uh, easier to, to maneuver it in these confined waters. All right, David, thank you very much. Thank you.